Well, okay, I got it all apart. And uh, I was expecting a hole in the piston, but uh, I don't see anything. Also, it's not, no, oh, wait a minute. I think there is a scratch there. So maybe it is a bad ring. So I guess what I gotta do now is uh, dr drain the oil, drop the oil pan, and take out that cylinder and uh, replace the rings. I already ordered my intake gaskets and my head gasket, so I gotta go pick them up. And while I'm there, I'll probably order another uh, oil pan gasket. I don't think I can use that twice. Maybe on the older cars you could, but not on these newer ones with high compression. So, there's all the, whoops, all the pieces. I just tripped over Jack. Uh, yeah, I set the uh, timing mark on zero and made sure that I was on the number one cylinder with the before I pulled the distributor out. This is number one here. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's number five that was bad, not number one, like I thought. Uh, got the head off. The head looks good. The valves look good. I took out those valves and checked the uh, valve seats, and there's no crack in the head. There's nothing, uh, no burnt valves. Uh, I think I need a bigger table if I'm going to keep tearing things apart. Uh, well, I'm going to go get my gaskets anyway and uh, then I'll get back to this when I get back to this well it's draining got all the oil in there I think there's some antifreeze in there because when I pulled the plug normally I would get oil on my fingers but I got antifreeze on my hand this time so I guess some of it ran down in there when I was taking the engine apart but at least it didn't get mixed together and turn into brown sludge, so I was going to have to drain it anyway. And I don't know if I can use this oil over or if I should just buy all new oil and throw this in the dump. Recycle it. It looks kind of black, so it probably ought to go. So now i got to jack it up a little higher and uh, put some jack stands under there and pull the oil pan if I can. Uh, I may have to take off this sway bar to get at it. Let's pull it out this way. I might have to take off that crossbar there. But we'll see. I hate doing this kind of work. Okay, so the oil pan is off. The, uh, the hottest part of it was I uh, had to take the starter off. And uh, I expected to have two half-inch bolts on the starter, but the top one was uh, 7 sixteenths, and the bottom one was 9 sixteenths. And they were the only two bolts on this thing that were difficult. Uh, the rest of them were all pretty easy because I had it apart not too long ago. So there's a hole right there where the piston used to be. But I took that piston out, and when I pushed it up from the bottom, a whole bunch of little pieces of ring fell down on me. And uh, so there's the piston, and there's what was left of the rings. So I have to go get some rings. Also, I gotta call Richard, see if he's over at the shop, and see if he's got a hone and a piston ring compressor so I can put it back together again. So a week has gone by since I tore this thing apart, and uh, <coughs> I went to Napa on Monday. And I told them I wanted uh, a set of rings. And they said they could give me a set of eight rings for the whole motor the same day. Uh, or if I wanted just one set of rings for one piston, it would take them at least a week. And I'd have to pay for the UPS shipping. And uh, it was going to be $35. So I went on the uh, Rock Auto. <laughs> And I uh, ordered some rings from them. And with the shipping and uh, 
price of the uh, rings was 15 bucks. So I got them yesterday and I put them in. Uh, I honed the engine block and then I cross hatched it, but uh, I'm afraid I didn't get it all out with the hone. It has to be bored if I want to get rid of all the marks from the broken rings. So I don't know, but it maybe is going to smoke now. So, uh, I got to put it all back together again. And I uh, put the intake manifold back on, the exhaust manifold, uh, the oil pan is still off of it. Um, and then set the timing again. But, uh, I got it back on the zero. Because the, uh, you know, when I wanted to take the uh, bearing cap off, I couldn't get at the, uh, one of the bolts, so I had to turn it. Um, counterclockwise and uh, I just turned it back the same amount the same direction uh, the opposite direction I turned it clockwise back to zero so I think it's still gonna the time it's still gonna be good so it's kind of hot out today I don't think I'm gonna work on it I just got back from that swap meet that uh, in the last video and uh, drank one beer and I fell asleep uh, so I'll get some more video on this thing when I get it finished I guess uh, see if it'll run so while I was waiting for the rings I finished welding in all around the corners all the floor and uh, I uh, just used a MIG welder to tack it together in the middle and I said that's going to be under the seat Nobody's going to see the welds anyways. i got to put in some really nice carpet. And also, I uh, braced it across the back with a piece of uh, bed frame, which I still got to do a little bit more of that. And uh, then it'll be rugged enough so I can tip it backwards and uh, cut some of the floor out, some of the rusty pot that I covered up. Because there's no point in dragging all that rusty metal around with me. Okay, so I'm going to try putting this thing together. It's uh, 101 degrees out here, though. And, uh, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep up. Let's see, I should probably have some oil. Dip these uh, studs in oil before I screw them in so that the torque wrench reads correctly. So, there's one. Ouch. Maybe I should open the hood a little higher. Two. Ten of these. Five short ones, five longer ones. And, uh, I get them all tightened up in the correct order. Can't be too far. I just was using it when I put the cap on the bearing cap on the class connecting rod here. Number five. Yeah, I got one more short one. Uh, here it is. Last but not least, number 10.
going to be a problem this one too, I think. I gotta find a torque wrench and the correct half inch socket. Hang in there. Well, I got them partially torqued. I used this uh, crappy torque wrench. And uh, working from this side, I can't really get enough push on it to get to the, so that it reads 60. And uh, if I pull it from the other side, I can't read the scale, so I have no idea where I am. So I got to get another torque wrench. Richard's got one that clicks, and he's got another one that beeps, and uh, so I'm going to borrow one of those to torque them down. So I guess I'm going to call it quits for now, because I got pretty close to 15 minutes of uh, recording, and I hate to put videos on that are half an hour long. I don't like to go over 15, 20 minutes at the most. Uh, so I'll get some more on this later. So they were saying on the news today was the hottest day in the state of Maine and since in the last five years. So it was a little bit too hot to be doing this anyway. So goodbye for now. Be sure to comment, like, or subscribe to this channel. I need more people because uh, I have to have a thousand people before it starts to pay off. I'm going for a million. But I'll be happy when I get to a thousand right now. It's 354. So say goodbye to the Mustang for now and uh, we'll be back on it soon.